Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Dr. Joseph McHale. I have the privilege of being the Chief Medical Officer of the International Myeloma Foundation. And I'm here at ASCO, uh, the largest cancer meeting in the world, uh, where we have seen some exciting developments ongoing in multiple myeloma. Secondly, let me share with you perhaps the, the five key abstracts that we were able to learn more about here at the ASCO uh, annual meeting. The first one, which probably will get the most press, is the BB21 or the Bluebird trial that was giving CAR T cell therapy for patients with very heavily relapsed multiple myeloma. We've seen several approaches with CAR T cell. What was particularly uh, important about this one was that now that we've learned a little bit more about CAR T cell therapy and can reduce the toxicity or the, the side effects that patients have, we can really see the signal of this drug where uh, patients not only had a really great response rate despite having most drugs beforehand, but we saw that response sustained. That was always part of the concern of CAR T cell therapy. It would only work for a short period of time, but the average patient in this study was able to remain in remission for a year after CAR T cell therapy, which is the longest we've seen, and that number might even increase with time. The second abstract that was important was sometimes called the PVD study or pomalidomide, bortezomib or valcade and dexamethasone was compared to just valcade dexamethasone alone. And again, we saw that pomalidomide, which we usually use later in relapse, can be used earlier in relapse, even just after the first relapse or at time of first relapse. And we saw this combination works very well together. Uh, there aren't a lot of extra side effects that we see when we combine these drugs. We have been combining it for a while, but it was great to see it as a large phase three trial that will really help our patients with relapsed myeloma. Uh, the third abstract was uh, sometimes called the Arrow abstract. We were trying to find ways to give carfilzomib more effectively, but also more conveniently. A lot of our patients struggle with having to come in twice a week Two, three weeks out of four for carfilzomib, and this study looked at giving it once weekly, and in a large uh, study like this, we were able to see that not only is it more convenient for patients, it might actually even be more effective to give it this way, where we can give higher doses of carfilzomib. The fourth uh, abstract was now combining daratumumab with carfilzomib, or kyprolis. We've been combining daratumumab with Revlimid, with Velcade, and even with pomalidomide. This was the first larger study to see it combined with carfilzomib. This, we've been looking forward to this because we want every option possible for our patients. And the study did show that we can very well combine these two drugs. It can be very effective uh, when we use these, use these two drugs together. And lastly, the final abstract I'll quickly summarize uh, was the venetoclax study. So venetoclax is a new drug really to myeloma, although we already use it in leukemia, that has really shown a lot of promise when it's given alone for patients who have a very specific type of myeloma with what we call the translocation 1114. But we've also seen it work when we add it to bortezomib or Velcade, and we wanted to see if it would work with carfilzomib. And so this study showed that the combination with carfilzomib is actually very promising and could well be a big part of what we do in the future of myeloma. So this is just a few of the highlights of this great meeting that's going on. We encourage you to come to the website and learn more uh, as we discover new agents and as we use better the agents we have to help patients with multiple myeloma. Thanks very much.